Hello everyone, and welcome to this tutorial, on how to implement Ajax Live Data Search, in Node.js with MySQL. In this tutorial, we will be building a simple web application, that allows users to search, for data in a MySQL database, in real time. We will be using Node.js, to build the backend, and handle the server-side logic, and we will be using Ajax, to enable real-time data search, on the client side. Our application will be using a MySQL database, so we will start, by setting up our database schema. So now, we have start discussing this topic, so this is our testing database. And under this, we have one customer's table, with table column like, customer ID, first name, last name, customer email and customer gender table column. And under this table, we have already inserted some data, which we will use for, live data search application. Now we have goes to command prompt, and goes into directory, in which we want to create, node.js live application. And after this, we have again run this command, so it will create new directory, with name ajax live data search directory. Now we have goes into this directory, and after this, we want to download Node.js Express, and my SQL module. So here, we have run this command, so it will start download, express module and my SQL module, under this directory. Now we have opened this directory, under text editor, so we can proceed for create, live data search application. Under this directory, we have to create two files, with name liveapp.js and index.html file. First under app.javascript file, first we have to write, express variable is equal to. Require method, with express module name, so here we have import express module, under this file. After this, we want to import my SQL module, so here we have to write, my SQL variable is equal to. Require method, with my SQL module name, so it will import my SQL module, under this file. Now we have to set up, some middleware using the, use, method of the, app, object. After this, we want to define port number of this application, so here we have to write, port variable is equal to 3000. Now we want to make my SQL database connection, so here we have to write. Pool variable is equal to, my SQL variable is equal to, create pool method. Under this method, we have to write, connection limit key, and in value, we have to write, 10. In second key, we have to write, host and in value, we have to write, local host. In third key, we have to write, user and in value, we have to write, root. In fourth key, we have to write, password and in value, we have to write, blank value. And in last key, we have to write, database and in value, we have to write, testing. So after define this database configuration, so it will make connection, with my SQL database. Now we want to load, index.html file content, on the web page, so first we have to write root. So here we have to write, app.get method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write, slash which is root, root of this application. And in second argument, we have to write, callback function, with two argument, like request and response. Under this callback function, we have to write, code for load index file content, on the web page. So here we have to write, response variable dot send file method, and under this. We have to write, two time underscore, with directory name statement, so it will return, full path of your working directory. After this, we have append file name like, index.html, so it will load content of this file, on the web page. Now we have goes to, index.html file, and under this file, first we have paste this code. Now here, first we want to create search text box, so here we have to write. Input type is equal to text, with id attribute is equal to search. 
placeholder attribute is equal to search with class attribute is equal to form control and autocomplete attribute value set to off below this we have create one html table with first table column like id first name last name email and gender under this table we have create one table body tag with id attribute is equal to results under this tag we will display customers table data by using ajax now we have goes to vanilla javascript code and here we have to write search input variable is equal to document dot query selector method and under this we have to write text box id search after this we have to write result body variable is equal to document dot query selector method and under this method we have to write table body tag id results so here we have store this html element property and under this variable now when page has been load then we want to fill this table with customer data so here we have create one load data function with query variable with blank value so this function will send ajax request to node application for fetch data from customers table so here we have to write request variable is equal to new xml http request object now for send ajax request so here we have to write request variable dot open method with two argument in first argument we have to write get method so it will use get method for send data in second argument we have to write url so here we have to write slash search root name with question mark with q variable is equal to dollar query variable so here it will send ajax request to this root with data has been sent with url also now we have to write request variable dot on load callback function so this function will be called when the request is received or loaded under this function we have to write result variable is equal to json dot pass method and under this we have to write request dot response text variable so here data has been received from server and which is converted into json format and store under results variable now we have define new html variable is equal to blank value and under this variable we will store customers table data in html format after this we want to check any data has been received or not so for this we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write results variable dot length value greater than 0 if this condition false then it will execute else block of code and here we have to write html variable and here we have to append this html code for display message like no data found but suppose above condition true then it will execute if block of code and here we want to fetch data from results variable so here we have to write results variable dot for each method with result variable as argument under this function we have to write html variable and here we have append this html code in first table column we want to display customer id data so here we have to write result variable dot customer id variable in second table column we want to display first name data so here we have to write result variable dot customer first name variable in third column we want to display last name data so here we have to write result variable dot customer last name variable in fourth column we want to display email address data so here we have to write result variable dot customer email variable and in last column we want to display gender data so here we have to write 
result variable dot customer gender variable. So on every loop, it will store customer data under this variable in HTML table format. Now for display data under table body tag. So here we have to write results body variable dot in a HTML property is equal to HTML variable. So it will display data under table body tag. Lastly, we want to send Ajax request. So here we have to write request variable dot send method. So it will send Ajax request. So here our function is ready. Now we want to call this function. When page has been load. So here we have called this function here. So when page has been load in the browser. Then it will call this function and display data on the web page. Now here our JavaScript code is ready. So we have goes to app.js file. And here we have want to create another root. So here we have to write app.get method with two argument. So in first argument, we have to write slash search. And in second argument, we have to write callback function with request and response variable. Under this function, first we want to store data which has been received from Ajax request. So here we have to write query variable is equal to request dot query dot q variable so here we have store data under local variable after this we have create sql variable with blank value and under this variable we will store my sql select query now below this we want to check this query variable has some value or not so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write query variable value is not equal to blank. If this condition true, then we have to write select query with search condition. So here we have to write SQL variable is equal to select star from customers and under where condition. We have to write customer first name like query variable or customer last name like query variable or customer email like query variable so this query will search data under customers table but suppose above condition false then we have to write select query for fetch all customers table data so here in else block we have to write sql variable is equal to select star from customers table order by customer id so it will fetch all data from this table now for execute select query so here we have to write pool variable dot query method with two argument in first argument we have to write sql variable and in second argument we have to write callback function with error and results variable as argument under this function first we have to write if statement with error variable And after this, we have to write throw error variable. So if any error occur, then it will display error on web page. Now for send data to Ajax request. So here we have to write response variable dot send method. And under this, we have to write results variable. So it will send data to Ajax in JSON format. Now for set port number. So here we have to write app.listen method with two argument in first argument we have to write port number and in second argument we have to write callback function under this function we have to write this code which will display this message in command prompt after we have to run this node application so for run this application we have goes to command prompt and here we have to run this command which will start our node application now here in the browser we have to write localhost double colon 3000 which is base url of this node application so here on the web page we can see that customer data has been displayed on web page in html table format and above this table, we can see on search text box has been display for search data.
So for search data, we have typed something, but no data has been filtered. So for this, we have goes to index file. And here we have to write, search input variable dot, add event listener method, with two argument. In first argument, we have to write input event. So when input has been changed, then it will trigger, this callback function. And under this function, we have to write, query variable is equal to, search input dot value property. So here, we have store, search text box value, under this query variable. Now we have called, this load data function, and in argument, we have to write, query variable. So when we have typed something, under search text box, then it will call, this function. Which will send Ajax request to node application, and receive data and display filter data, on the web page, without refresh of web page. Now here in the browser, we have to refresh this web page. So here customers, all data has been displayed. Now for search data, so here we have typed something, so after type something, so here, we can see that. Filter data has been displayed, on the web page, so on every character typing, it has search data, in real time, without refresh of web page. Finally, we have implement, the real time data search functionality using Ajax. We have used the vanilla JavaScript, to handle Ajax requests and responses. And there we have it. Our simple web application, that allows users to search for data in a MySQL database, in real time using Ajax and Node.js. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other tutorials, for more Node.js and MySQL tips and tricks.